Hey everybody, I'm Josh. And I'm Rachel. And we just spent the last seven days on Icon of the Seas, the world's largest cruise ship. We're gonna go over the pros and cons and let you know what we thought of our trip. Let's go. So as we said, we are wrapping up. We actually have our bags packed right behind us. We're headed off the ship in 20 minutes. And we want to talk about pros and cons while it's still fresh on our mind. Yes. So we're just going to kind of rattle off things that we noticed along the way, elaborate on them, show you a whole bunch of scenes of generally awesomeness that's going on here. There is some downside though. <clears throat> um, so keep that in mind. And we're going to say, this is nitpicky. Like nitpicky. I don't know that's all nitpicky. I think some of it has valid arguments. There, m maybe, but let's, there are some nitpicky pieces. Let's start and we'll see what people say. All right, let's start with the pros. The spacing in this place. Yeah, so like you'll start right away at the promenade. Mm -hmm. It feels much more open. There's natural lighting in Everywhere. some of the bars. It's like it went all the way out to the edge of the ship, whereas like sometimes it feels like there's rooms along the way or there's rooms overlooking the promenade and that just encloses things. This yeah. is awesome. Yeah. I think that the openness of like, say Giovanni's, Bolero, Schooner Bar, all of it keeps it wide open. Pearl Cafe. Amazing, amazing out there. It feels like it's so spacious. Never once felt crowded. Right, yeah. And I think the natural lighting really does help with that a lot. Yeah. The Pearl itself is very cool. It does have some structural integrity, but it's also, it's the picture spot yeah. that everybody chases for. It's beautiful. And then even up on the pool decks, everything is spread out very well. You have bars in different locations. It keeps people going to separate areas. You also have towel stations everywhere up there. You have seating throughout the entire ship. Like there are places to sit in every public area. Yeah, Central Park, still amazing, beautiful Central Park area. Yeah. There is several different bars and restaurants there that are new and still have that just open feel. Yeah. Surfside is another one. You've got a buffet style eating. You've got quick bites. You've got an upcharge restaurant. You've got a candy store. You've, you've got, got a cool bar at the back. And you've got a carousel. Yes. In the middle. Yeah, one of and the- And a water park for kids. It's <laughs> like, ridiculous. I think Royal realized with this ship that the view off the aft is one of the key areas that people have been wanting for some time. And so they maximized it by having on the Surfside area for kids, and parents. Yep. And actually we went there. We went there a couple times. <laughs> yeah. And then up at the hideaway on the back, just having that view of the wake. It was cool. Insane. It was very cool. Very, yeah. very cool. The color scheme. It is so bright. And I think yeah. that just feeds in with the natural colors. It is, I mean, even in our room, there's bright yellows and oranges and it's just beautiful. It's yeah, there's absolutely bright greens. Gorgeous. Even Central Park mm -hmm. has just those shutters that just add to something yeah you know we always we went on symphony of the season we really enjoyed it but then you add this pop of color everywhere the yeah. and i mean the pool deck is absolutely where you're Crazy. gonna see it yeah it's beautiful it's constantly engaging up to the eye make sure to hit that subscribe button if you want to see our full experience on icon of the seas we will have daily vlogs showing over 20 different food venues, 30 bars, the world-class entertainment, and an insane pool deck. We also make stops in St. Kitts, St. Thomas, and even check out the brand new Hideaway Beach Club on Royal Caribbean's private island, Perfect Day at Coco Cay. Yeah. The variety of bars and restaurants. And yeah. things to do. I think in general, it was huge, so cool. Never once were you feeling like there was nothing to do from trivias and quizzes or pop quizzes to acts to kids stuff to ice shows to I, I mean it was never ending this might be the latest we've stayed up on cruise ships and i think we were up until <laughs> almost 2 a.m every night because there just was something engaging all night long yeah and you know going back to the bars we ended up doing a bar crawl and we drank at 30 different bars 30 in two days <laughs> yeah which took some took some courage and took some oomph, <laughs> but uh, we were we were able to get to all of them and we were able to pick out our favorite ones. You and know, go back. Yeah, as far as favorites though, Ryan Bean up in the Overlook. If you like coffee or whiskey or both, oh, it had <laughs> it's my really heart. good. Yeah, and then the other one was the 1400, which is on the Royal Promenade, looking over towards the uh, Pearl Cafe. The drinks are amazing. Oh man. Like, that the handcrafted cocktails yeah. that you got going on, now versus before. So many of the venues have their own specialty menu. 
Yes. Mm -hmm. And they're good. They're really good. Like you can't just find just one you like. Now I will say I found one place I had that I just didn't only liked one drink on it, but that was it of the 30 bars. And I was like, ah, oh, okay. Yeah. I just want one. But man, they were good. It was the variety, the options, the pictures on the menu looked identical to the drink. Yeah. It was amazing. <laughs> that was at the 1400. I think 1400, some others did it Overlook too. Overlook Bar, um, the Lemon Post, all of them. They their pictures in their menu looked just like what the drink came out. Yes, with. it was awesome. Each neighborhood does have like a bar, a bathroom, and something to eat. Yep. You can stay in each neighborhood because you have everything that you need. Mm -hmm. Now that's going to bring me to first con. Yes. The signage for the bathrooms are actually kind of odd and. I, we, we saw several people, including us, thinking, where the hell is the bathroom at? The signs are just a white block, and there's smaller font, and then there's arrows. But you don't see the arrows until you get, like, really up close to it. Mm -hmm. And so a lot of times, people would be walking in both directions, and then they'd see the arrow, and they'd walk this way. And it's actually up here. that the So, bathroom signage could be better. Yeah. Rooms are awesome. They are awesome. Uh, we, are, we were in a infinite balcony room, which was our first time doing, and we loved it yeah it's amazing it makes the room feel so much more spacious but private with the balcony yeah you never once feel like you don't have a balcony yeah it felt like much more usable space this ship has a lot of them uh almost all of the central park balconies are infinite balconies almost all the outside rooms are infinite balconies surfside still has a lot of regular balconies and then there's some on the outside not as much as well as on the aft but as far as that the balcony is great the outlet situation is awesome in the room. There's, There's actually a huge, everywhere. yeah, a great power strip that has like four USBs, a full universal charger, I think a European charger. There's a regular outlet in the bathroom, which is unheard of on a cruise mm -hmm. ship. Pillow situation is great. Oh, big. Yeah. There were six of them too. Yeah, it was awesome. <laughs> the room uh, itself was comfortable and again felt opened up the storage space. Man, they did it right. They have areas where I mean it could be a little it's a little tight but mm -hmm. when you're on a cruise ship you expect that but we were able to hang and you guys have seen how we pack we are over packers we hung everything up we're able to put everything away in the bathroom that is definitely one of the big upgrades as well the shower is very nice it has like a bench seating in there there is hooks for your for your towels there's a rack above the door is very nice. We're coming off of three cruises on two of the oldest ships, Rhapsody and Enchantment, where you still have the shower curtain that, you know, sticks to you while you're showering. Yeah. It just doesn't feel right. So this was like a ton of space. Now I will say, for any man who is pushing six feet tall or more, when you have to sit down and do your business, your junk is gonna touch the inside of that toilet because it's tiny. It's a <laughs> baby toilet. And Josh asked me if the toilet felt small. I was like, <laughs> no, but I'm yeah. five three, so <laughs> nope. I don't have a tape measure. Maybe I'll get my phone out to see, but like the depth from the wall to out. And and they probably had to do it that way because they reconfigured the, the organization. But other than that, in the bathroom, there's plenty of storage. There's lots of shelving below the sink, on the sides, and even in the back. The other awesome part about the bathroom is when you shut off the lights at night, there's still a nice little night yes. light that does not wake the entire room up when you go into the bathroom in the middle of the night and the door closes It's like a magnetic nicely. door. Yeah, it's so nice. Yes. Um, now, one downside as well is that the thermostat, you can push it down to 66, but it just bounces right back up to 68. You're pretty much going to live at 68 as well. Yep. Is what they allow in this room. So we had some hot nights. It got warm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Talking more about the pool deck. Obviously, the water slides. That's going to be one of the biggest things you see. Yeah. I think there's six water slides. Unfortunately, one of them was closed due to weather. Um, when we were doing water slides, tons of fun. They're big. Yeah, they were huge. Yeah. They've got a mat racer. They've got one that the floor drops out on you. They've got two big multiple person uh, raft ones and then one that just goes straight down. Yeah, it was really a lot of fun back there. And it just, and the flow riders back in that area as well. It, it was a cool area where I was telling Josh like, probably age 12 and up could easily spend all day long. That's true. <laughs> easily. Now 18 and up gets to go to the hideaway, right. which is at the very back and it's definitely a adult day club style. There's some seating on the side, there is the infinite pool. The coolest look there is. It is. And then a hopping bar. Like, 
And with some good cocktails. Yeah. Again, a very cool and specialized cocktail. Menu. Yeah, if that is not your style, then you can actually just move forward. There's plenty of pools and hot tubs. It doesn't look like there's as many. It just looks like there's one big one. There is lots of pools on the deck and it is all spread out. Uh, swim and Tonic is probably going to be one of the more popular adult bars. Yeah. And pool. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Cloud 17 actually has one that overlooks. There's another, there's a few, but there is one large pool too. Another big or pro was, feels like a bazillion hot tubs. Usually you only have like one or two hot tubs on a ship. I think there was six. There, there was a lot. Easily we'll put down six, below. yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, there was plenty of that and then as you had mentioned earlier the towel stations Yeah, you know if you've been on a lot of them. There's like one or two towel stations. They were everywhere anywhere There was a pool you had a towel station. It was so convenient. So nice. I was wrong not six nine nine hot tubs on this place That's a lot. That's a crazy amount of hot and tubs. it's awesome. Yeah <laughs> now. Let's stay up on deck 15 Yeah, because some of our favorite stuff was in the overlook area it's beautiful. So that's where Ryan Bean was, and then there's an Overlook Bar. But it's basically, if you see the front, the dome looking thing, that's where that is. You can look out, it's some of the beautiful, most beautiful scenes that you're going to get on this ship. Mm -hmm. um, and then you pull back just a little bit, and you have the Aqua Dome. Yeah, it was really cool. Which is like, insane technology. You have your divers, you have your water fountains, crazy lighting and sound effects. Mm -hmm. It was just impressive and it was only a 30 minute show. They don't even they aren't likely done with the full show Yeah, I think there's but. gonna be some skateboarding stuff that was not ready for us. Yeah, but um, otherwise, but it was good mm -hmm. Now when that leads to a downside hooked is up there mm -hmm. and um, Hooked is the specialty dining seafood restaurant, which when we went was night one and the Aquadome theater was going off at the same time and whenever anyone opens a door, there is so much light and it's sound so that like pounds in there. It's pretty disruptive actually. Yeah. And so that's one of the tough things is like you can't get away from it even though you're like sitting in the back of a specialty restaurant. Yeah. Another cool thing about the public area bathrooms and doors, they're all hand wave motion. You're not touching any door handles to get in and out of the bathroom. So that's very convenient. They've actually taken a lot of that into consideration when you're speaking of like cleanliness. Yeah, I would assume COVID had to do with that. Mm -hmm. Entertainment, entertainment has been wonderful. Yeah. Um, we ended up going to most of the shows. There was like adult comedy night. There was uh, Wizard of Oz Broadway show, great, which was great. Great um, show. Insane production quality. Yeah. Uh, Mosaic was here and they were awesome. The Aquadome Theater, that show was great. Uh, what A couple else different we... ice shows. Yeah, forgot about the ice shows. Yeah, loved them. We didn't make it there, but I also know they had a full-on concert, an hour and a half, by Phoenix. Um, they At had, Music Hall, yeah, right? They had many, like I said earlier, games throughout. They had parades. They had sail-away parties. It, it was insane. 11.30 parties. <laughs> yeah. Like, and we were up for it. Yeah, it was insane. The other amazing thing, the staff. They've been amazing. We have had a great experience with all the staff members that we've come in contact with. This ship definitely feels like an all-star quality yeah. uh, staff. Big props to all of them. Love. I, we had no bad experience. No, um, I do want to give a shout out to Sean, I think is his name, down at Pier 7. He actually recognizes from our Symphony ship. Which was almost two years ago. Yeah, it was awesome. He's just <laughs> like, you guys have been on Symphony. Could yeah. remember what we ordered and everything. We were at so. Jamie's Italian and he was our waiter there and yeah. he remembered it. It's just one of those cool perks that makes it feel personal in here. And they all remember your name. Um, even at dinner last night at Giovanni's, our waitress from the night, two nights before, was came over and said hello. It's just so personal and they just want you to have a good time. The one major con that you're going to see is the barrier to entry and that is the cost. cost. This is easily going to be the most expensive cruise that we've ever done and it might be the most expensive cruise a lot of other people have done. Uh, you might get used to doing the $500 to $1,000 per person stuff. We are going to do a full cost breakdown of our trip but I can tell you that we were talking to a friend day one. He mm -hmm. has Wonder of the Seas which is the second newest. Royal Caribbean ship in August so eight months from now and he said for him to do the same itinerary on Icon it was two thousand dollars more and that's a lot yes that's a lot when you're talking about you know a family of four and I can say I think it's worth it I do too but 
it definitely is one of those where there's gonna be a lot of people that can't afford to do this. It, it's just, it's just expensive. I don't, I don't know what more to say. I know it's a brand new ship. I know it's a new class, but that's gonna be hard for people to make. In addition to the cost to get on the ship in general, there's upcharge, a lot of upcharge stuff. Yeah. There's a lot more upcharge base restaurants. There's a lot more um, upcharge dining stuff such as the Empire Supper Club, which would be awesome to try. And I heard great things about it yesterday, yeah. but it's $200 a person. Now you might get a small discount if you book when you get on the ship, if you have the dining package. If they have spots available. If they available. have spots. So that's the other piece, it could sell out. Yeah, we had heard that if you had the dining package, you could get it for 130 while on board if they had open spots. Yeah. But the $200 a person doesn't include tax and tip. So once you include that, you're talking $470 for a couple, which yeah. is very hard to do when I want to say that our full dining package was like $720, $730. Yeah. So for a little extra, we got a lot more, it feels like. Um, another upcharge thing is the milkshakes. It's called Deserted. I think that that was one of the cheesiest ones I'd have a hard time ever doing again. Yeah. Um, it was $21 for a milkshake. Now, it's got a little pinato. I that we're not can't reach it, home. otherwise I'd show you. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's got a tiny pinata that it goes on top, so it makes it super Instagrammable. I'll be showing pictures right now, but in all reality, it was a small milkshake. Yeah, it was which, nothing special. No. I would have rather taken Johnny Rocket's free one in reality. I would too, mm -hmm. yeah, so that was a hard one. The Crown's Edge looks super cool. It's yeah. where people walk around the, the Crown on the outside of the ship, on the deck 16, I believe, but it was $90 a person yeah. for a 45 second event. Yeah, I, I can't bring myself to do it. No, I think those were the most egregious ones. If you've seen some prices that shocked you, please leave a comment down below. A couple things we forgot to mention, but I did want to call attention to. The destination elevators was definitely a pro. Uh, we did not have any issues waiting for elevators for an extended period of time. It's where you push the button on what floor you're going to and then it tells you what elevator to go to. Those actually worked really well. There's over 20 elevators between the two sides, so there was really good spacing for that. A con that we did see was in the casino. The casino floor is very large, but the spacing between the slot machines is very tight. We actually got pinned in at one moment. Um, and then there's a much higher volume, it feels like, on the smoking side versus the non-smoking side. Whereas on the non-smoking side, there's a lot more table games and less slot machines. Cool part is we were here on an inaugural sailing. We would do an inaugural sailing again. Their pros far outweigh the cons and we got some cool swag to cool show swag. on the way home. So we ended up getting two water bottles, which actually really like those. Yeah, they're going in the carry-ons today. We got two luggage tag holders or luggage tag named things. Luggage That's tags. That's a mm -hmm. icon of the seas. Uh, we got two journals. We can take notes of all of our cruises. <laughs> we each got a inaugural sailing certificate. We can frame it over our beds. We each got uh, fanny packs. Yeah, waterproof yeah. fanny packs. Waterproof fanny packs. We also uh, got baseball caps. You've seen that in a couple of our oh, videos. Oh yeah, I forgot mm -hmm. those ones. And then this was a cool one. So if you've been on Royal Caribbean, they do shakers a lot. Yeah. And so we actually got this kit, Empire Supper Club. When we first saw this, we actually thought they were inviting us to Empire Supper Club. No, nope, not a chance. <laughs> but we can now make drinks at home just like they do at Royal Caribbean. It's and true. so it's a shaker kit. I think, I think it's it. awesome. Yeah. yeah. We need to get out of here. <laughs> yeah, we are. We are. We're late. We are two minutes late. It's eight oh two. Time to hit to, head to the airport. But we are going to have a lot more videos coming uh, with daily vlogs as well. So please, if you enjoyed this video, hit that subscribe button. Come along with us as we show you all of our adventures here on Icon of the Seas. You can also follow us on social media: Facebook, Instagram, and X. All of our links are down below. Peace.